reminds me of like the gold nuggets from Spirited Away. Like, uh, uh. Oh, yeah. Uh. Ooh. Oh, my God. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Oh. <laughs> How do we explain what we're doing? The seeing gemstones, the seeing clay, this is both of them. <laughs> kind of, yeah. So we're going to be making, I don't want to start with, we're making plates, but yeah, like, yeah. we're making plates. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to show you something. Prepare your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is going to be the worst example ever, but I did test like the technique that I want to do for making these plates. <laughs> what? Technique. <laughs> Technique, technique. technique. So we're going to be making, it's like, it's clay, right? Polymer clay. <laughs> we're going to do this polymer clay technique that kind of looks like crystals, sort of. And this is my poor example of it. It's going to look something like this, but we're going to make it into plates. We're going to do like a set of crystal plates. Ask me why. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I think we should just get started because... I honestly feel like there's a high percentage of you that have no idea what I'm talking about. So I think we should just get started. <laughs> Do I even know what I'm talking about? Mm. Ready to rock and roll. We're going to be doing a rose quartz one. We've been calling this either turquoise or amazonite. We're going to be doing amethyst. And the last one's going to be clear quartz. Yeah, we're making four, okay? Am I biting off way more than I can chew? Probably, but that's just like what I do here. We should start with amethyst. Amethyst, oh shit, okay. So I have like a darker version of each color. So we have dark purple and then two little lavenders. We got white and then I also have translucent, which I feel like is going to be the key for getting this to look kind of crystally. So what we're gonna do is open up all of these clays and I'm just gonna get a bit of each color and we're gonna chop it up and I'm gonna show you the satisfaction of chopping up poly clay. Um, this thing, get it. It's just like a clay cutter. Yeah. But it's flexible. Look at it go. I don't know how much of this I should do. I guess it doesn't matter because we're gonna be doing it for all of them. Heck yeah. And so what I'm gonna do now is start chopping them all up. And you want them to be irregular because I feel like that also adds to the like crystal effect because you know, when you look at a crystal, it's not perfect. All right, now we're on to translucent. Dude, this looks like marshmallow. Yeah. It looks yummy. We got a good chop on all of our colors, so now I'm gonna mix them together. Now that we've got this all chopped up, I have these two matte acrylic paints and one is black and one is white. So for amethyst, we were thinking of doing sort of like a gray. So I'm gonna mix these two together. All right, so gray paint is on and we're going to mix it all together. And what we're doing is coating the outside of the little chunks of clay with this paint. So I'm gonna keep mixing until I can't really see, you know, the purple or the translucent or white or anything. And I want like a good coating of this paint on the outside of our chunks. I was doing it with my bare hands last night and I don't recommend that. <laughs> they look like little rocks. No. It's perfect. That was a perfect color. Yeah. I think it's gonna look so good. So now I'm gonna kind of flatten it out a little bit. So what we're gonna do is squirt a bit of this. So this is oven bake clay adhesive. So I'm gonna put a bit of this on and then we're gonna get some silver foil on this. I'm gonna die. It's gonna be so cool looking. We're just gonna squirt a bit of this all around. So now I've got, so now I've got some silver foil and I'm gonna take a bit of this, put it right, whoa! The whole thing almost came out. I'm gonna put a bit of 
you guys get it. So the glue is meant to like kind of bind everything together, but also glue the foil to the little chunk. So now, whoa, we're gonna mix this together. We're gonna try to make sort of like a clay noodle. I'm basically just forming a clay potato right now, and then we'll shape it once it's all stuck together. All right, so we have our amethyst loaf, and I think what I'm gonna do is make you wait. I'm gonna make you wait before we chop into it. So we're gonna get started on the other colors, and I'm gonna set this aside, and then we'll have a really cool shot of chopping them all in half. So it's gonna be a surprise to see what it looks like on the inside. It kind of looks like a little foiled burrito or something. We're gonna get started on the rose quartz white glitter all right so we've got our white i'm gonna cut this in half Ta -da. all right so we've got our pieces for the rose quartz we're gonna chop them up oh. all right translucent chop Ooh, I do like the sparkly white. It's definitely gritty. Oh, really? Yeah. Like chopping it feels grit. I love these colors. Gorgeous. I breathe. So we've got another loaf done. So this is the rose quartz. We're going to move on to turquoise slash amazonite, whichever one you would like it to be. Before you what put, are you doing? Before you put the foil on, it looks like Chipotle and it made me so hungry. <laughs> looks like Chipotle? Yeah, bro. See you later. Alright, no way up. <laughs> <laughs> this way is a long way. Sprint. <laughs> It reminds me of like the gold nuggets from Spirited Away. Like, uh, uh. Oh,
There's a hole! Oh no. Oh no. Really close. Okay, so it is time to cut into them, see what they look like on the inside. So I'm going to slice this whole thing, and then we're going to kind of flatten it out and attach it to create the plate. So this one is the amethyst. Oh, that's pretty amazing. All right, so now that I've got all of my cut squares laid out, I'm just gonna kind of press them to squish them together so that they create sort of like one big square. So we're gonna fill in these gaps. I also have this little rolly tool that I'm gonna use to flatten it all out. I think if I wipe this down with alcohol, it'll clean it up. Like, make it worse actually. <laughs> what do I do? What about a wipey? That helping? It's helping. If you make it messy, these are Lysol wipes, and that's what we use to fix that terrifying <laughs> mishap. Okay. I got very nervous for a moment. That was really scary. So we've got the lid of a paint can, and I think I'm just gonna trace this around. All right. Now we're going to peel away. Oh gosh. When we peel it away, it's like done. Okay, I'm nervous. Yeah, right. All right, so I have created and shaped the amethyst plate and it was really, really difficult. I'm not even sure I like how it looks right now, but the little pieces like desperately wanna just crumble apart. This is what we're working with. So amethyst plate is, you know, it's where it's at. So I think uh, we're just gonna continue. Everyone's nervous. Oh my God. Whoa! Ruined it! That's okay. Oh, that's wonderful. So once I flatten out the clay and I like how it looks and I've also made sure that it's like really stuck together, I'll take the lid and I'm tracing that onto the clay and then we'll cut it out. Oi! And then after that, I'm using my flexible clay knife, clay cutter, whatever. And I'm kind of slicing it from the bottom and lifting it. Ta-da! And then I'm going to take some of my scraps and shove them together. And then I'm going to use a different lid that's smaller. I'm just going to cut that out. And then on the bottom of this piece, I'm gonna take the clay glue and squirt a bit of this around. I'm gonna go back to my plate, flip it to the bottom, and put this right in the middle. Then once my plate is kind of formed, I take like a little bit of tin foil and I'm just kind of flattening it out because I don't want the lip of it to be too high. That's gonna go around the base of the plate. So I'll take my tin foil ring and then I'm gonna put it on the pan that we're gonna be baking these on. All right, so rose quartz plate done. Let's see. Oh. Ooh. Oh my God.
Well, let's go up and bake them. All right, you guys. <laughs> so we have a couple of successes. Ding, 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 ding. But we also have our fails. I I like all of them. You know, I... I are these the best thing that I've ever made? <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not. But was it super fun to like chop up the clay and mix it up with all the glue and the paint and the, you know, the foils and stuff? Hell yeah. It was so fun. Right up until I had to actually turn them into plates. Why did I want to make plates? I don't know. I literally don't know why I needed to make plates. Looking at them now, they're definitely like ring dishes or something like that. Like in my mind, I had a very different vision for how this was going to turn out. But the technique for this is super cool. Like you should definitely give this a try. The amethyst and the rose quartz, I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so for a pivot video, not so bad, okay? You guys should definitely try out this technique. It's super fun. All right, so here are some close-up shots of our <laughs> plates. All right, my favorite one is this one, the blue one that was supposed to be like turquoise or like Amazonite or something like that. I just think it's the best one. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure you give this video a like, subscribe to my channel and my vlog channel. <laughs> and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. It is at Artsy Madwoman. I love you guys to absolute death. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs> Let me show you what I got for clay. I got this dark brown. No, nope, that's not dark brown. <laughs> I'm not going to show you what I have for clay. <laughs>